Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video. This is my first attempt at a video since I'm getting sick on Christmas Eve. I've promised some people on Discord, on both Lith Archive and in private, some video tutorials, and if you can tell by my voice, I sound a little different. And I wanted to at least make a short video just to like, hey, they're coming, I promise. But I wanted to make this short video to see how well I can talk to maybe record those tomorrow. I was watching this video tonight on my TV while I was relaxing, and it's a video from Lewis Rossman. He's a tech repair guy out in New York, if you don't know who he is. He does tutorials on fixing MacBooks, doing data recovery, things like that. And he had an accident back in 2017 where I believe he either got hit by another cyclist or by a car. I don't remember exactly the details that he said at the beginning of this, but um, the doctors basically told him that he would never be able to work out again, he'd never be able to lift weights, he would never be able to ride his bike again, all this stuff because of the accident. And recently, he um, was at the gym, he has a little clip at the end here that shows him actually lifting oh well that's a video he or that's a phone number he put in his video for his personal trainer that he's thanking he's been able to lift weights again and i don't tell you guys a lot about myself or my family or anything like that that's a weird freeze frame um i don't tell you guys a lot of stuff about me or my family but i wanted to share a story today um about my father my father is in his mid-70s. He's still going strong, still working every day. He could outswim me as far as distance or speed. He works out every day. He's also very talented when it comes to music. He plays piano. He plays saxophone. Um, I'm sure there's other instruments he could play if you just handed them to him. He could figure them out pretty quickly. But this story is about when he was a teenager. When he was a teenager back in high school, he was out sledding with some friends. This is back in like the 60s or 50s. I'm sorry, 50s. He was out sledding with friends and he was running his hands through the snow. My dad was born right-handed. He wrote with his right hand. He was right-hand dominant for just about everything. And also in high school, he was playing piano and playing saxophone. Well, while he was sledding, there was a broken glass beer bottle under the snow, and it nearly cut off his hand. Um, it cut all the tendons up. It cut the, uh, it was probably a pretty bloody sight. Um, and there was just, it was bad. And back in the 50s and 60s, they didn't have the surgical technology that they have now um, where they can actually go in and, like, reattach all that stuff so you'd have feeling again, so you would be able to actually use those muscles properly again. So basically what they did is they just knotted it all up, bandaged it back close, sewed it all up, and told him, well, you're never going to play saxophone again. You're not going to be able to use those fingers very well. The only finger he has feeling in to this day is his right pinky finger the very tip he can feel but that's it so he doesn't know like if he's got his hand on a hot plate he doesn't know he's burning his fingers even or if he cuts himself he doesn't know he cut himself it's it sucks but the doctors told him you'll never play saxophone again you'll never play piano again you're not going to be able to use that hand very well for much of anything he had to learn to write with his left hand. Um, needless to say, now that he's in his mid-70s, he's learned to not give a damn, and he writes with his right hand. And it's definitely Egyptian hieroglyphics. Um, it's pretty funny. But it's... And he didn't listen to the doctors. He put the effort forward and picked up his saxophone again, sat down at the piano again, and just learn to play with what he had. He's a phenomenal pianist. Uh, he's written his own songs. He's been in a polka band with one of his best friends for nearly 50 years. They've been playing together. Um, his friend Ed plays accordion. One of his sons is the drummer. The other son is sometimes the bassist. 
I know they want me to get up there and play with them. I just, I still don't know chords, even though I've been playing guitar for like seven years, <laughs> six or seven years. I still don't know chords and shit. But if he had listened to the doctors, I probably wouldn't have the same love for playing musical instruments that I do because a little bit about me now, I grew up in Lakewood, Ohio. Lakewood, Ohio, their schools had the, they had three options for a music program. They had choir, they had band, and they had an orchestra. I decided to be an orc dork, as people call us. I decided to go out there, learn violin. In fourth grade, I picked up violin, and I started playing violin, and I played all the way through high school. But my seventh grade year, so fourth grade is when I started that. My seventh grade year, um, I decided I'm going to go out and, well, my parents decided, I guess I should say, <laughs> my parents decided to move to a different city called Olmstead Falls in Ohio. When I transferred schools, we found out that they didn't have an orchestra. And it, it kind of sucked because at that point it was either take basic music classes that I'd be incredibly bored in or join choir. I did not want to join choir. I fucking hate singing. Um, I really do. I hate singing. And I know you you guys are not seeing anything in the background of this video except for Lewis Rossman right now. I might give this a shot in editing it and showing pictures or something like that, but I don't know if I have pictures that old. And I don't have any gameplay recorded. Um... I have some ideas. This might be edited. If it comes out and it's like this and you still see Lewis Rossman, I'm sorry. I didn't get a chance to edit. Uh, but anyway, so I was talking to, or we moved to Olmstead Falls. They didn't have an orchestra. I joined choir. I hated choir. I hated it. I never sang anything. I hate the song Africa by Toto to this day because they made us sing the freaking song Africa in choir and I hated it. That summer, between 7th and 8th grade, my dad handed me his tenor saxophone, said, you're taking lessons and joining the band in 8th grade. I picked up the saxophone at the beginning of June, and by August, I took first chair from somebody who'd been playing saxophone for four years. I took the first chair position from somebody who had been playing for four years they made me, quote-unquote, the best saxophone player in the band as far as tenor sax. And then all through high school, I was in marching band. I was in regular band. I took music theory. I was playing alto sax and tenor sax. And I loved it. And then after high school, I pretty much gave up the saxophone, didn't play any instruments for a few years, and then I picked up guitar. And that's the instrument I play now. That's my main priority instrument is guitar. But if it wasn't for my dad's determination to prove the doctors wrong, that he was still going to be able to play piano, he was still going to play saxophone, and I wholeheartedly believe that there were some tiresome nights, there were some sad days at the beginning or even halfway through where he'd be sitting there trying to play, it would just be the saddest thing. Like, he would mess something up that would be incredibly basic for somebody who'd been playing for so many years already. And he just wasn't able to do it because of his hand. But he overcame those obstacles. And because of that, I got to be thankful to him. Because I don't think I would enjoy music as much as I do. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. I wanted to share something with you guys. Because, you know, this video gave me that memory. And over time, I think I'm going to try to make more videos about, you know, my life. Or my family's lives. Or just more story-driven videos. Because they're very easy to share. And it feels good to be able to share those stories with you guys. And eventually, um, I'm working on cleaning up one of my spare bedrooms right now. I'm going to paint the walls. Uh, one of them's going to be entirely chalkboard or whiteboard. So when I'm doing these kind of videos, I'll have a camera facing me and that wall. And I'll be drawing on the board the things I'm talking about. It'll be incredibly fun. There's a lot of updates coming to this channel. And... You know, I just, I kind of wanted to start it and do a feeler video like this one where I talk about myself or my and my dad 
and go from there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go check out Lewis Rossman's video if you want to. This, you know, it's... It's nice to share these kind of things with people sometimes. Even if it's complete strangers over the internet, there's a 99.9% .9 chance you're never going to meet in person. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Oh, I also had an internet upgrade. So, live streaming quality is also going to go up in 2020. Look forward to that. Peace out, guys.